Welcome to the second in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully install and commission the SolarEdge Home Hub Single Phase Inverter. In this video, we'll guide you through safe wiring of the SolarEdge Home Hub Inverter. Let's start by preparing the wiring tools. Wire cutter, watchmaker screwdriver, MC4 crimper, Phillips and flat screwdriver set, torque wrench with a 4mm Allen bit, and an open-end torque wrench, 10mm. Let's identify the inverter interfaces located on the bottom of the inverter. Communication gland 1, communication gland 2, PV strings inputs, battery DC input, and AC input. The LED indicators and the on-off P switch are located between the two enclosures. Now, let's open the connection unit cover. Please note the correct order of unscrewing the four Allen screws holding the connection unit cover and remove it carefully. Remove the yellow tape that holds the antenna wire from the cover. First, let's learn how to connect the inverter to AC. Use a three-wire cable. The maximum wire size for the input terminal blocks is 10 square millimeters. Strip 60 millimeters of the external cable insulation and 18 millimeters of the internal wire insulation. Then, crimp the wire ferrules. Open the AC cable gland. Insert the AC cable through the AC gland. Connect the AC cable to the AC terminals. Please note the marking on the connectors. Connect the grounding wire first. Use a flat screwdriver to insert the cables into the spring terminal. Check that the wires are fully inserted and cannot be pulled out easily. Tighten the AC cable gland. Next, connect a ground cable, if required by local regulation. Now, connect the PV strings MC4 connectors to the DC input pairs. Moving on, open the inverter cover and connect the communication cable. Remove the screws according to SolarEdge instructions. To connect the inverter to the monitoring platform, connect it to the system owner router using Ethernet. Open communication gland 2 and pass the RJ45 connector cable through the gland. Please note the cable size and gland pass-through. Connect the cable to the RJ45 connector on the communication board. Once connected, insert the antenna cable into the communication gland 2 block and close it. For Wi-Fi or cellular installation, see the SolarEdge application note for Wi-Fi and cellular application, or refer to the quick installation guide. Both are available in the SolarEdge's Knowledge Center. If connecting more than one inverter through RS-485-2, follow this wiring scheme and make sure to validate the switch's configuration for the leader and follower inverters. Make sure that all the battery module's circuit breakers are off before making any connection to the inverter. Connect the grounding cable of the battery to the ground by local regulation. If you have a battery, start by connecting the DC cables from the battery. Let's establish the communication between the battery and the inverter through the SolarEdge home network using the supplied antenna. If you choose to use a wired RS-485 connection, refer to the installation guide. If using the backup interface, connect the communication cable from the backup interface to the inverter by inserting it through communication gland 1. For rapid shutdown meter and external RSD switch, refer to the installation guide. Once everything is wired and connected, reinstall the inverter cover and fasten it with the screws according to the instructions. Lastly, close the connection unit cover and fasten it with the screws according to the instructions. Well done! You've now successfully wired the SolarEdge Home Hub single phase inverter. To complete the installation, watch the SolarEdge Home Hub inverter commissioning video.